And uh, this has been a pretty amazing, amazing experience. I promised to text my mother. I forgot to. I hope mom is watching. <laughs> Forgive me. Let's see who's here. Oh yeah. Hi Cindy. All the way in Seattle. You guys got hit with the COVID like first in America. I'm thinking of you. All right. Lily's in the other room. She'll probably come on, come in at some point. But uh, I thought I'd, I'd see who's who's joining in. All these so many wonderful people from all over. It's it is weird. I'm looking over to my left, and I'm seeing me in a delay. So welcome to the world that we live in of another time. Cause yeah. All right. That is so weird. Well, I want to first say hi to everybody out there in live land. Uh, this is my very first live stream from my home studio. And uh, welcome if you are from all over the place. I know that we've got some people from Carrie Lewis. All right, I can start now. The executive director of DCA is, is on. And I just want to say, Carrie, what a brilliant idea to do this. Uh, uh, if you don't know, the Door Community Auditorium is in, in Fish Creek, uh, Wisconsin, and it's attached to a beautiful school, Gibraltar School. And imagine what it must be like for a school to have a gorgeous performing arts center that brings artists from all over the country and the world uh, all through the, the year. And of course, with the schools being closed, Carrie and her team thought it would be a great idea to create this online training they're calling it like spring training like since the kids are out of school and since we're all stuck at home what a great idea and i'm not great about memorizing things so i want to take it in carrie's words so imagine carrie standing up on the stage as she so brilliantly does during performances and invites people and talks about the importance of door community auditorium and the importance of performing arts centers in community and she wrote that um the backstory for why we're live streaming is that because once we address the immediate safety protocols for our building and staff, and once Gibraltar schools canceled spring school performances, and we at DCA turned our attention to how we could continue delivering on our mission at this time, the idea for spring training quickly began taking sh shape and partners showed up willing and ready to help and participate. And that's why I said, bring me in. Spring training is inspired in part by Angelus Arians' four universal healing salves, silence, storytelling, dance, and singing. We aim to use these four salves to continue delivering on our mission during uncertain times, encourage growth in positive directions, feature and support our local creative economy, and care for our community's cultural needs in sickness and in health. Thank you, Carrie. I, I, I'm just... Um, blown away by, by that kind of mission, and I am happy to bring uh, people into my little uh, space in, in Sturgeon Bay and perform for you. Um, we'll, see, we'll see how it goes. I see there are a lot of people here. It's really hard for me to, to see all the, all the people there, um, but wow, I'm seeing so many names. It's, it's just phenomenal. Um, I'm gonna start singing some songs and, and see where we go from there. Um, I am all about live performance and feeling an audience's energy. So this is really weird for me because I don't want to stop the flow by reading your comments. It's a, it's a new, it's a new way of doing it. So I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, thrilled. So hi. <laughs> Oh, it's 
tell me that I'm too damn sweet. Got the wares of an angel from my head to my feet. Try my best to ignore them and mess up this place. why we need to social distance and shelter in place and who thought that we would be here uh, when I went into the studio to start recording a record in September I thought I'd be releasing it now instead it's stuck in the studio unmixed and unmastered and people have been asking what does that mean and it just means that it's sort of like when you I use food analogy all the time if you're baking a cake and you've got it all ready and the recipe is brilliant and you make it and then your oven dies and you kind of tell everybody, well, it's good, but it's not baked. So that's what mixing and mastering is all about. So if you've been following me a little bit on my website and my, my social media, you will have seen that I've been dancing a day, one song a day to a track on my record. And I wanted, it's my crazy way of sharing with you a record that 
I've been working on for a very, very long time. It's in my heart and I can't wait to release it. But in the meanwhile, I'm dancing in my living room. You know, I, as you could tell, I, I, I don't take myself so seriously. Maybe I should, but um, how are y'all doing out there? Wow, what a crazy time. I wish I could read some of these things. Let's see, all these different people. Oh my goodness. There, there's just, there's just so many people here. I'm, 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 I'm beyond touched. It's really hard for me to look over at the screen over here because what I'm seeing is basically me uh, half a minute ago. Woo-hoo, the world we're living in. But, um, so I won't be able to really respond to your comments. I'm just gonna, I got a show together, I think. I'm just gonna peek in and, and see as best I can. But these are songs that are on my new record and some that aren't. Once again, I just think it's really important that during this time where we're in lockdown and shut in and shelter in place. So for those of you that think they shouldn't be, you should, really. And if you're planning on traveling somewhere, just get the supplies you need to go wherever you are and lock down for 14 days because this is a real deal. Look in the rearview mirror and see what's going on. We can't, um, you know what I said to a friend of mine today? I would love everybody to laugh at me and say that I was wrong that this wasn't as big a deal. I want people to say, yep, we can just all get back to where we are and where we were in two weeks. No, this is a this is an opportunity, folks. That's all I can say. It's kind of like um, how we can how we can move forward and and um, dream. These are times to dream and rest and not worry about finances. I know it's easy to say, but uh, all my gigs are canceled. I'm here. I'm happy to be here, and uh, but I think together we can we can find a new a new beginning of how we can use these technologies like we're doing now. Uh, something to the effect of making things better by making better things. So find that one.
Portugal. I just saw that one. Wow. Hey, Russ. Your mug. I kept it. How about that? Sorry about slurping, everybody. All these beautiful people are here. We're going to try to make the world a little bit better in our hanging out together. Let me tune it up here. I've never done a live stream, so I have no idea if it's sounding good out there. I've been watching other people. The one thing I will say, and I do have a pet peeve about making sure that the camera's flipped in the right way so it's not mirrored. So I'm assuming I did it correctly, and you could tell that I am not playing this way that I'm playing. <laughs> Facebook has this thing where if you don't hit a button, it automatically shows everything backwards. So you should be able to read everything. Like you should be able to read that I've got a holiday music motel t-shirt. That's how I ended up moving to Sturgeon Bay in the first place. Because Melanie Jane and Pat McDonald invited me to the Steel Bridge Festival, Song Festival. The Steel Bridge Song Festival changed my life and I moved from New York City to here. A shout out to all my family and friends in the New York area, especially to the subway performers and the street performers that aren't able to perform. I remember what it was like after 9-11, wanting desperately to get back into the studio, um, the subway. I always wanted to get back in the studio, that's my life. But wanted to get back in the subway to perform, but we were told we couldn't. We were worried about anthrax, we were worried about another attack. And uh, it was so different than what it is now, and yet it feels so similar. So those of you that might have been there or experienced it know what I'm talking about. But back then, we couldn't go be below 14th Street, but we could gather in parks and we could talk and we could hug and we could share stories and we could cry. And um, this is kind of that silent thing that's happening, that tsunami thing that we don't know is, is coming or is already can has already come and we're, we're hunkering down for it. And I think that's why art and music, and I love that the salves of healing, uh, live stream is a salve of healing, whether we, we like it or not. I'm going to slow it down with one of my, my songs called Easy Come, Easy Go. And interestingly enough, I wrote this some, some time ago. And one of the lines is, love is contagious. Haven't you heard the news? It's all over the headlines. So why am I singing the blues? Well, love is the contagion I want to pass on to you. Because fear, that'll take us, that'll overcome us. But love... In any crisis, love is always accessible. As accessible as the blue sky and the clean air and the beautiful waters that are clearing up because we're not burning fossil fuels as much as we're, our planet is used to. Take love for granted. You came and you took me by a force. I didn't know what it was until I fell. I know you still ain't satisfied. Well, satisfaction. Take love for granted.
Renna, I'm so hypnotized. I guess you be loving. Love is contagious. Haven't you heard the news? It's all over the headlines, baby. Why am I singing the blues? I say easy come, easy go. Look around, but don't you take the love for granted. this you've got connection to the internet of course my heart goes out to those that don't have it or those that say the first thing they're going to kick out the window for bill paying is the internet and I say let's let's make this a mantra internet should be free to all right now any cable company if anyone works for a cable company and is listening to my words like why not make it free for everyone right now it would matter so much think of how our world would change this technology has been here forever and we're using so many old mo models that need to be changed. So maybe this is this whole pandemic will uh, systemically change. And as Buckminster Fuller had said, and I'm a big fan of Buckminster Fuller, emergence through emergency. And that's where we're at right now. We are in a, an emergency, something we could have never imagined. But I might say that that's the job of our governments, to imagine. They imagine war, they imagine safety and security of our country, wh whatever country that is. So their job is to make sure that these things, if they're coming, and they could, and they will, that we're taken care of. And so I hope they, they do better for all of us. Um, I'm not turning this into a political thing, I'm just saying that part of feeling safe and secure knowing that somebody else is thinking about the worst case scenarios and making sure and that's why we have Coast Guard and National Guard and the Army and the Marines and the Navy and yay to everybody who has ever been or will be or is doing that for, for us. This is the time we need it more than ever.
take you back. guitars. This is a great story about this guitar. I bought this guitar in 1983 in New Haven, Connecticut, where I was living. And uh, in 1990, I moved to France and I gave it to my brother Marty. And Marty held on to it for all these years. And every time I saw him, I'd say, can I have that guitar back? And mm -mm, I'm not going to have it. And I'd see him when I visited him in Atlanta and everything. I turned 60 last November. He sent it back to me for my 60th birthday. A 1964 Melody Maker that I bought in 1983 gave up in 1990 and it came back to me in 2019. Thank you, Marty. <laughs> I gotta put it down for a bit. I've been having a lot of fun playing with the cigar box. Brianna, you know about the cigar box. Remember at Husby's when we played this together? I hope you're listening. I'm, I think you are. How's everyone doing out there? It is really weird. I turn to my, I turn my head and I just see me picking up the cigar box. <laughs> I'm going to pick on you right now. One of the things we do during the writer's weeks in, here in Sturgeon Bay at the Holiday Music Motel in February, it's called Love on Holiday, and we are at Frastic. That means we are writing ourselves music inspired by art that is beautifully curated by the wonderful Melanie Jane, who brings together these amazing artists and puts them in an amazing gallery. <laughs> There's a new gallery right next to the Third Avenue Playhouse that also ho hosts our performances. Mm -hmm. So we write all week, all day long. We record our songs that we write that are inspired by art pieces, and then we perform them. 
and um, we write in collaboration with three people. We're not usually writing on our own, but I was so inspired by this piece, by this photograph of a girl on a bicycle. And uh, Stephen Wilner took this piece when he was in Brazil. And I named it Kathy's Bike because um, when I was two years old, my mother asked me to, t to go find my brother and I kind of got on my tricycle and rode into town and found my father in his office. <laughs> Imagine a two-year-old on a tricycle. So when I saw this picture of this young girl on a bike, I thought of myself because I have hugely vivid memories of that time. 58 years ago. Woo! <laughs> Tony and all of my Troublemakers band. These, these guys are amazing. But I've been writing with the cigar box for a little bit and um, also in a creative workshop. And this is something that I wrote inspired by uh, a poem and then inspired uh, by some words. And Jim Grady was the one that wrote a lot of this and I just picked up on the idea, especially right now. <laughs> Jim for some ideas on that one. 
And uh, as you might know, I've been working on a record at Making Sausage Studio in Milwaukee. Thanks to the wonderful Steve Hamilton, would not have happened without him and his wonderful Rolodex of great musicians that just showed up when we said, hey, would you mind being a part of this? Here's a song, another one from Love on Holiday that I wrote with Julia McConaughey and Troy Thurin to a beautiful art piece, The Necklace, by the wonderful Melissa Clark. And I was so honored that the amazing guitarist Greg Cox came in and played on this and many other songs and Matt Liban and Jimmy Bagley and Billy Flynn, besides my wonderful troublemakers, Tony Benzer and Jamie Clark, Larry Byrne, Jim Schmidt, Polly Ryan, lots of people in my life since moving here. I'm very happy. Sorry, Mom, I meant to send you a, a message about how to connect in. It looks like for you're a very smart woman. You figured it out. Hi, everybody. Well, again, I want to thank Carrie Lewis and the DCA, Door Community Auditorium, for doing these beautiful spring training series. I got, I got more time. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play as long as you want me to. I don't know if people are saying things like it's too loud. 
it's really hard for me. my very first I, I don't have a sound engineer I have no idea I know I sing big if I'm blasting your ears or it's if it's it's very distorted I'm doing the best I can Cindy I see your hearts I got that my eyesight's not great for looking at a distance um, um, I don't want to be one of those those people that apologizes and that sounds like what I'm doing I don't want to do that. <laughs> well last year I had the wonderful experience of writing a soundtrack for a film a documentary film written by Tracy Thomas Kristen Peterson was the producer and amazing female crew, and they came up here to my studio, right here in this room, to film me talking to the director, Tracy Thomas, about her film. My first and last film, it's a, an incredible story about what it's like to turn 60 and what changed in her life um, due to the loss of her partner, who was her, her directing and, and, and filmmaker partner. Um, uh, it's, it's hard to talk about loss in these times, but would you believe what I wrote? The only song that came on the, the film that's me singing, it's me singing right here live in the studio with an idea of showing the director, and it's called the Happiness Blues, and I want to share with you how important it is now more than ever to reach in, no matter how hard we're, we're feeling this, that we have each other. And that's really what the blues is all about. When I get down on myself, feel so lost, can't find my way. I just got your message. Too many tears, all for four thousand reasons. Questions to ask the universe. I gotta read. 
reaching for the happiness. Yes, I do. And the happiness that I'm feeling. search for that silver lining cause the sun is gonna come up somewhere in the world reason enough to keep us all smiling It's happiness blues. I don't know if there's a word for that besides just calling it the blues, but to say something like happiness and blues in the same sentence. Uh, wow, John Wells. You still down there in Texas with your wonderful lab? John Wells is one of those guys that just said years ago, I'm done. And he and he went all the way down to crazy, wonderful, out of nowhere, Texas. Thank you for the notice about moving the cigar box. I, you know, I couldn't see. I was wondering what was going on there and Thank you for the notes, Pat. Appreciate that. And uh, well, thank you all for your happiness too. I have time for a couple more songs. You you want a little bit more? Yeah. I could do this again and again. I want to thank the Door Community Auditorium for hosting this. understand that my dog Lily has been uh, kind of peeking in. She's so used to having music around the house, she doesn't really come around. But. Hey, Lily Putt. Did you Lil? Lil? Lily Putt. <laughs> she put herself to bed. I think our pets are really happy that we're around. For those who are working at home, Myself, I lose myself. I lost you. Get me away from this heartache. Get me away. Say the grass is green on the other side. Time heals all kinds of pain. I'm not really 
show that it's true. second before I realized what was the song I was going to end with. I've been hearing this song going around on the internet because I feel it's touching the people to share those really sweet songs. I used to live in France. Sending a shout out to all my friends in France, tous mes amis en France, petit bonjour à ma part, et j'espère que je vais chanter ça assez bien, je sais c'est pas piaf, mais c'est piaf, les yeux qui font baisser la mienne, le rire qui se perd sur sa bouche, voilà la portrait sans retouche, de l'homme auquel j'appartiens. Quand il me prend dans ses bras, il me parle tu vas. Je vois la vie à la rose. Il me dit des mots d'amour, des mots de tous les jours. Et ça me fait quelque chose. Il est entré dans mon cœur Une part du bonheur Donc ça me fait la cause Yeah. <laughs> 
soir Alors je sens un to do that. 